two days ago, I finished Brad Thor's 2016 thriller, Foreign Agent. And the reason why I decided to read this was because I thought, with what's going on in Russia right now, I thought I'd try to make most of the, my reads timely, related to what's happening in Russia right now. And Russia does play a part in foreign agents. What happens is a CIA team in Syria is wiped out. There is an assassination of a politician in Turkey and also a terrorist attack attack right in front of the White House. It all leads to one Russian operative named Sasha Basayev, who's got his motives for doing these things. And Scott Harvath has to stop him, Russia and ISIS from plummeting the country and the world into global chaos. What I can say about this thriller is it's brisk, fast pace, and never lets up. That's how Brad's been writing most of his thrillers these past years, but it's enough for you to follow the story and keep the plot moving forward forward. Maybe he sort of like doesn't want to sort of bog down on unnecessary details, but the fast paced part of it does work and you can easily follow the story. What I really like about this is I feel it's a continuation or a bit of a sequel to State of the Union. I like how he brings back two characters from that thriller. As well, I might be wrong, but I think one of them has been around since Lines of Lucerne. I like it how it's set in Vienna, Malta, and I think, according to this, Brussels... Jordan and Syria. It's a very global sort of thriller. Just like Brad's various others, it, he gives you a feel on how the country, the countries are. And the action. It's, it is really solid. The characters are fantastic. Scott Harvath, as you, as usual, is a legend. I'm going to say there's not a dull moment in this thriller by the King of Faction. If you want to read something timely, something fast-paced, then look no further than Foreign Agent. It's a pretty good read, and you'll be flipping the pages just to see what happens next. It's an addictive rush. Like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on the Best Thriller Books website. we got some more other awesome stuff for you to check out. Right, my next review, I think, is what I'm currently reading, but something a bit sort of different. And this year, I promised this author that I would check that book out for him and I'm doing that for him as he as I post this catch you later on my next review all the best